It's a quiet spring morning on the Duck River. And while it might not look like it, these rows of kayaks sitting next to its flowing waters are part of an outdoor classroom, just waiting Good morning. for the students to arrive. Did I check yours? No. Okay. It's not the first time these fourth graders from the University School of Nashville have used kayaks for a classroom. See how your paddle was going in like that? You want to make it go in like that. Earlier in the school year, they learned some paddling basics during a day of outdoor education at Long Hunter State Park as part of the school's Young Naturalist program. But that was months ago, and this is moving water, something many of them have never experienced. So we call it nose and toes because we want to see your nose, your head out of the water, and we want to see your toes out of the water. We give them another introduction this morning to kind of brush off some of those cobwebs about what we do in the river, how we're going to steer the boat, um, how we're going to use the right paddling strokes in our kayaking to build that paddling foundation. And that's one of our goals is to build some paddlers for the future. So it's like you're scooping so you can scoop the water. You're... But learning to paddle is only part of today's lesson. You're getting ready to launch into the Duck River, one of the most biologically diverse rivers in North America, in search of your muscle at Muscle Island and a lot of other things. Every part of it's going to be part of this journey. All right, Iris, you're launched. These students are on a mission to find muscles. OK, so you're going to step here, sit here. Fourth grade is kind of the culminating year with all things Tennessee, trees, karst topography. And then they need to learn about doing a research project. So we chose the muscles that we can find here in the Duck River. Flowing over 270 miles, the duck is home to over 50 different kinds of freshwater mussels, including several endangered species. But before you can find the mussels, you have to first make it down the river. When I push you off, I need you to paddle. And sometimes they need a little extra push from us or a little extra help pulling out of the weeds or something like that. But for the most part, by the end of the day, they're, they're steering their own kayak and they're able to explore the river. It doesn't take long to reach Muscle Island. We're going to do this. We're going to look for mussels, but we're going to talk about it first, OK? After some quick instructions, the kids set out in search of shells, timidly at first. They were not sure about going out to find their mussel shells, but then they got more and more comfortable, like, oh, this is OK. Whoa, look at the size of that. That is definitely a free ridge. That's pretty smooth. A warty back is really got a lot of little knobs on it. I was pretty excited because I was the first one to find a live mussel. After gathering them into piles, the students try to find shells that match the mussels they've researched. Some of them are like really lumpy and really cool, like like had bumps on them, and like I really liked the way they felt. Sometimes we don't know and we're just making our best guess, but it doesn't really matter. If you find a shell, a beautiful shell, that's sort of what it really is about. And then you can think about all the things that you've learned about mussels, all the stories that you've read about them, and the amazing things that mussels do. Mussels are amazing, as these budding biologists are quick to tell you. They're very important because they kind of keep the life cycle going and they filter the water, so that helps a lot with the other animals that live in the river. They filter our water, and they can filter like 50 gallons a day. They can prevent pollution, and pollution is very bad, and it makes like the world very unclean. It's information born in a book, reinforced by a river. It makes what they're doing in the classroom come alive. It's more fun going out into the river and finding mussels than just sitting in class learning about them. While the students certainly learned a lot about mussels today, even more important are the lessons they learned about life and this river and why it's so important for all of us to take care of it. This is a really great experience, and I love kayaking, and I just, I just love to be somewhere that's not in civilization. 
They fall in love with the outdoors and they realize how special our outdoors areas are. And then we have some wonderful places to go explore. Those are the folks that are going to protect the rivers and get people on the water or to be a guide or teach people how to paddle. And we need that next generation to fall in love with the river. It's amazing. It's one of the most like beautiful places I've ever kayaked on and it's really cool. I hope that they find this so compelling and that it's sort of written into them that so they become the kind of person that goes outside to find and wonder, joy, peace, love. The, the way it feels to be out here, the wind, and that's, a lot of times on the trip we'll stop and just be so that they can, they can get that sense of calmness and I don't know, there's something about being outside that's not like anything else. I think the end goal is for them to be comfortable, to know this place, and to love it. Because then the hope is that they will go on to protect it. I'm Ken Tucker on the Wild Side.